Hello everybody. Hello. My name is Darren. I'm Graham. And I have seen the film Sucker Punch. You've not seen it though. No. Uh, it's directed by Zack Snyder and it tells... Oh, I don't even know what it's about. So a girl kills someone and then goes to a loony bin because of it and then she's about to get lobotomized, and oh. so it then cuts to her mind trying to cope with this and in her mind she's in an asylum trying to... No, a dance school trying to escape and she needs several items to escape the loony... the, the dance school and then... <laughs> Rather than just stealing stuff, it then goes to the mind inside the mind, like, and it's so like it, she needs to steal fire, or lighter rather. So then it's it like in, in, sounds like Inception. Imagine like watch in. Imagine watching Inception, and then headbutting a wall over and over again, and then and then having to write down the plot of Inception. <laughs> okay. And that's kind of what it's like. All right. If you were also a really horny twelve-year-old boy. All right. Okay. Um. So does that make sense? What I just said. Yeah. So like so. So in real life, she's yeah. about to get lobotomized. Yeah, yeah. In her head, she's in a dance hall and she need a dance school and she needs to escape. Yeah, yeah. And in that head, in that world, she's like, it depending on what item she's about to steal, she'll have an action scene based on it. So she wants cool. fire, she'll fight a dragon. She wants a knife, she fights a samurai. Sounds that kind amazing. of thing. Yeah, it's not. It's absolute shite. Uh, so, yeah. What else? Why? Why is it? Should why? Why? Well, for, for a start, what was the. It's got no story. It's just... You've just told me the story and it sounds amazing. <laughs> okay. You might like it then. <laughs> but uh, uh, the, the special effects are awful. They like when she's fighting good. a... No. The when giant she's... robot looked amazing on the adverts. Yeah. Well, it's probably because it's been about seven years since you watched the adverts sort of advert, and, yeah. you know, we've improved since then. Like the samurai That's stuff... It's not the film's fault. It, well, it is because... Star Wars looks dreadful. Which one? Number, like, one. Agreed. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> it looks like so when she's fighting the samurai, it looks like a cutscene from a computer game, and I don't mean that in, in an ins well, I do mean it in an insulting way, but I, I'm not exaggerating. Cut scenes or oh, maybe not even like the current like generation, like maybe really? like a, an Xbox 360 type of <clears> thing. Like it's just it's so unbelievable that you can't invest in it, and you also can't invest in the character because there is no character. Well, ha ha hang on a second. Oh. This is all set in her head. It doesn't have to be realistic graphics. But nor does that make it interesting. By having by, by by looking like a cutscene, it just makes you think I'm watching a cutscene. Well, it's a cutscene in her head. Yeah. Well, that's not that's well, it doesn't work as an idea then because oh. it's just boring. Because there's nothing real. There's no threat. Yeah, because like the, the problem with like, do you know how, like action movies in the like late nineties, early noughties, like you just said with Star Wars, they stopped being fun because they just started hammering in the CG. Mm -hmm. So there was no kind of uh, weight to anything, mm -hmm. and you think there's no. It's like stunts. Stunt. It's like stunt driving. Without real cars, you just think, well, there's nothing interesting here. And that's what this is like. Do you know what I mean? Stunt driving without real cars. So, like, Fast and the Furious, the first one, I think they use CG cars for, like, some impressive stunts. And it's just like, I don't care. There's no, there's nothing to watch there. Oh. But now they use real cars. You think, okay, that's more interesting because there's, there's actually some degree of threat. And, you know, there's, in, in the making of this thing. Yeah. And in the Matrix 2, in the highway scene. Yeah. They used some real cars right. to, get, to get the real car. But then... Other CG cars just to make closer cuts, you know, like mm. the bike will go there and the car will be there, sort of okay, thing. Okay, well that's fine because that's mixed but it looked computerized, real. computer generated yeah, stuff yeah. with real with live action stuff, uh, which is the best way to do things, I think, if you ask me, to mix all the things together: CG, animatronics, real life, everything. Well, we'll come back to that point shortly. Will we? Or we can come back to it now. Okay, what do you want to say? Is it Fav? Yeah, John Favreau's Jungle Book. There's trailers out and stuff like that, but right. the way he's doing it. If you don't know, I is don't. the way uh, how they did Avatar, and there was a piece in the New Empire yeah, magazine. Yeah, they Avatar. Yeah, yeah, where the everything is CG. Oh right, yeah, everything. But at least Avatar, the, the little boy is real. the only thing. That, why? That's I don't like that. He said, like I was in the magazine. Why can't they do it like Rise of the Planet of the Apes, where the stuff CG, but they're still in like real environments? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Well, I think um, I think the system's good enough. It's just the what the point is. Like he said, like. They've developed all this amazing technology and, and amazing methods and stuff mm -hmm. for filming Avatar, mm -hmm. but nobody's used it since. And he thinks like, "Oh, we'll just make a, a, a... Uh, Tintin." Uh, no, but it's not the same. It's not. It's not. What is it called? Photo real. Oh right, okay. Stuff. Yeah. Well, Correct. yeah. So, at least with Avatar, you kind of believe it to a degree. Maybe not the avatars all the time, but like the leaves and trees and stuff. It looks like a real. So imagine yeah. how boring, like, sort real. of. The action movies are looking back at them from the early noughties and stuff because they're all CG. Then imagine that now and with the CG in no way believable. And it's just like, it's just boring in that case. Um, well, is it, isn't it like um, The Flight of the Aviator? You mean... Wasn't um, that really bad? 
And like you the mean, Saint, Flight even? of the Aviator, what Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow. That's the one. Yeah. Um, what did I think? Oh, you were thinking right. of Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow. I mean, yeah, okay. And you combined Flight of the Concords with the Aviator. What? What did I say? You said Flight of the Aviator. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, the Aviator's got somebody else in it. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, that's the one, and he's. Go on. Um. So yes, yeah, so it's really boring. The characters just don't. Exist. There's no characters whatsoever. There's one. No, she's not a character. She's an actress playing. Something. Not a person. Uh, a girl getting lobotomied. Pretty much. I mean, if she had been lobotomized, I'd believe that character. <laughs> Afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Right, I see. Um, and it's massively sexist. It's one of those films where it's like, look at our sassy independent girls who are wearing basically nothing and looking amazing at the same time. Uh, it's heavenly brown eyes. Just... Well, you know, don't get me wrong, she is good looking, but don't claim you're a sort of feminist type movie whilst actually... Is that what they did? I imagine he would. I would say. I bet he would say. Zack Snyder would say oh, that oh, you yeah, know yeah, yeah. they're independent, looking after themselves type women. And you just think, no, they're wearing gimpy little bras and <laughs> you know, sort of doing the splits in midair. Well, this is everybody's problem with the new Star Wars, wasn't it? Like everyone's seen that um, the pictures of the the woman in what Star Wars. When you said the new Star Wars, you mean Episode Seven? Seven, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and people are. are we people... haven't seen it yet. I don't know when you're watching this video. It's yeah. not out yet. Could be years into the future. Could is that, be. Is that your point? Um, Point a little bit like everyone was complaining and saying like that doesn't look like a, a woman in that yeah, outfit Captain in Fasma. that armor. Yeah, yeah, Phasma, yeah. Yeah. And saying like that doesn't look like a woman's in and it's like, well, no, she's not gonna have her tits on show and yeah, stuff. Exactly. She's obviously not, she's trying to hide she's from the She's not wearing a crotchless stormtrooper suit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. a shame. But also, yeah. you know, good for equality, bad for what I like to see. Um, <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's not just for you, is it? No, exactly. Um I'm I'm aware. Uh, <laughs> this is Zack Snyder's only original film as well, like in oh, terms of shame. like Dawn of the Dead was obviously a remake, mm -hmm. three hundred and Watchmen and Superman have all been all based on from, previous material. Yeah, yeah. And he hasn't done anything else. And you just think like it's probably and, and the thing is like <laughs> you keep slagging people off these days. Like you didn't finish that last point. What was I, I think saying? you were gonna say it's probably for the best. Probably for the best. Particularly when <laughs> he said that he saved Watchmen from the Terry Gilliams of the world, as if he's in any way the same yeah. league as Terry Gilliam. Well, yeah, and he? he's recently said uh, that Marvel keeps chunch, um, you know, chundering, <clears throat> chundering, um, churning out um, superhero of the week movies like Ant Man. And you think Ant Man was a hell of a lot more fun than anything you've ever was... done. Oh. oh, that's so true. I mean, I really love Watchmen. Mm. I'm not one of those that's down on it. And yeah. Dawn of the Dead, yeah, I quite like that. But, but I just, I, I don't think he's in any position to badmouth no, other filmmakers. Not. No, he's not. Um, no, no. So yeah, I just, I, I almost have nothing to say that I liked about it. You must have liked something. Script? No, not the script. Jesus. Um, duration. Uh, no, it's it, still too long. Yeah, if it was been ninety minutes, then maybe I'd have liked the duration. But it was over ninety minutes. <laughs> I quite like seeing uh, and, and you count them by the extra minutes as well. Don't I really you? do. Yeah, yeah. It's like, if it's like ninety four, I'm like Oday Sue and old boy. After nine minutes, I start carving <laughs> one, two, three into my arm, um, and then punching a man on the wall that uh, I painted. As you would. Um, Scott, <laughs> is it Scott Glenn, the guy that played what's his face from Silence of the Lambs? Get it? Uh, played Stick in the Daredevil TV series, TV series. It was nice to see him, but the dialogue Stick. he was saying was so. Bad, you know, like if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for nothing. Yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. Oh, shut off. <laughs> um, Stuff mothers post on Facebook. Yeah, and there's no <laughs> connection between like, okay, so there's the reality, then there's the dance thing, mm. then there's the other dreams. They're all individual ones. There's no story there. It's just here's a dragon one, here's some Nazi one, and it really is just Zack Snyder going, "What did I dream about when I was a twelve year old boy?" <laughs> right, and that's it. All right, they're just cut scenes, like well, literally, yeah. they, that, they literally are. Yeah, yeah. But it's not like there's a story in those self-contained scenes. It's not like you're getting five of the stories. It's you're getting five of the action scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the action's boring because it's all completely obviously CG. Completely linear and Yeah, it's it's yeah. And you well it... yeah. I don't want to spoil it for you, so I won't say anything. <sighs> There's gotta be something good we can find about this film. Like um, I mean, was the choreography good? Because obviously uh, well again, it was alright. But there it's, all fake. it's not worth watching just to see a girl do some cool spinning and hitting things that aren't there. Mm. You could watch The Raid, for example. You could watch 300, guys, which I don't though. particularly like, but like more than They're this. just guys, you know. In what? The Raid? Any of those films, yeah, 300 and stuff. Yeah. If you want to watch girls do that, then that's the fight. That's the only option you've got. No. Is that a bad thing? I'd say watch Charlie's Angels over this. Mm, me too. No, I'm not saying I like Charlie's <laughs> Angels. <laughs> Cameron so, Diaz, Lucy Liu. Yeah. And the other one. <laughs> Drew Barrymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the junkie. Yeah. That's a, that's a good mix of people. And, it is, and but it didn't make name? a good film. And you make Bosley? Bill Murray. 
Mm. Yeah, who uh, got into a fight with Lucy Liu and said that she couldn't act. <laughs> is um, that why he turned black for the sequel? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Is, did he turn into Bernie Mac? Bernie Mac. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> bye everyone. All right, adios. Say sorry for being a racist. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry.